Go forward for your next truck or SUV and find an easier way to buy with Woodhouse Ford today and experience the convenience of buying with Woodhouse Ford. Save up to $13,000 off MSRP on a 2023 Ford F-150 XLT plus 3.9% APR for 60 months with approved credit, $299 dock fee to at signing. Security deposit waived. Expires 1-02-2024. Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is bringing you more this holiday season. Finishing the year with big savings on the entire model lineup during the Wrap Up the Year sales event. Save up to $13,000 off MSRP on a 2024 Ram 1500 Crew Cab Laramie 4x4 for qualified buyers. Explore all our year-end lease and finance deals at WoodhouseCDJRBellevue.com or WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. This is Woodhouse. With approved credit, tax title license extra. With finance with Chrysler Capital. $299 dock fee to its sign Stock number BC240134. Offer expires 1231-2023. See dealer for details. Greetings to all people in all places, the season's greetings. It is with pride and pleasure that we present the talented and popular star of motion pictures, radio, and television, Mr. Gene Lockhart, in an unusual adventure, Return to Christmas Island. This is Gene Lockhart. The pressures put upon us in the lives we lead sometimes cause us to act contrary to the basically decent natures with which all of us are endowed. I like to think that someday, somehow, all of us will carry for the other 364 days of the year the feeling we have on that 365th day, the goodwill to man day, Christmas. Our story is of a man whose greed might have destroyed him, but instead who came to understand himself because of this day, Christmas. And here is Gene Lockhart, starring in our dramatic holiday adventure, Return to Christmas Island. Padre, please, say Spiritus Sanctus. Now then, now then, what in the name of Hebrides are you muttering about, Pablo? I am doing what you and the others should be doing during this storm, Captain Harkness. Praying. Praying, is it? Why, you mealy-mouthed hypocrite. Your lack of faith will cause the sinking of this ship. The powers of darkness... Hold on, Pablo, hold on. Spike and me, we got a right to tell you. We are as much boss on this voyage as you are. That's right, Caleb. It's my money that's paying for this trip, and it's my map that's leading us to them pearling grounds. It will be my diving that will bring up those pearls once we get there. I side with Pablo, Caleb Harkness. Change your course, I say, before this black night in the sea swallows us all. And you rum scullions, what do you two know about charting a course? If I knock your heads together, maybe you'll remember who's skipper aboard this scow. Madre de Dios, that lightning almost strike us this time. Wait, we lay there. Off the starboard bow. Did you see it? You ain't fooling nobody, Caleb. You wooden headed idiot. That streak of lightning showed up a bit of wreckage yonder. Greasy! Hey! Can you make out what kind of craft it is? There it is! Cut the engine, Captain Harkness! Ah, oh, you two lily livered land crabs. Come on here, give us a hand. The Spanish cloud. She wanna around like a quirk and a tough. Look another big lipper like the last one, and we'll all be in the drink. We'll drown. Pipe down, blast you. Well, by the hitch of a Dutchman's cape, it's an outrigger canoe. It's a miracle it's still afloat from the look of that battered sail. Uh, there's a native and his woman in the canoe, and they're both dead. Even as we will soon be unless we get away from here. This is an evil omen. Look yonder. The woman, she moved. They're not dead. They're out cold. Bring them aboard and secure the outrigger to our ship. Steady, Greasy. Gentlemen, with them two in the canoe. Yeah, Without lots of care, they'll die. And instead of wasting time without outrigger, let's get underway, or we'll all die. Aye, that could come to pass, Spike Billings. Pablo, you'd better say them prayers to me. If you live to see the light of morning, it'll be because of my hand on the wheel. Because of me, do you hear? Me! (laughs) 
Yeah, it's a fine touch you have with that concertina, Greasy. Now, if you could only cook as good as you play. Uh, I didn't think I'd ever do either of them again during that storm last night, Turk. Hey, the captain's by himself at the wheel. Yeah. This is as good a time as any to ask him. Greasy, uh, stow that blasted whaling. Speak of the devil. Uh, he might just be concerned about waking them two natives. Come on, let's talk to him. Ah, it's four bells now. The man and his woman. Are they all right? Aye, Captain Harkness. They're sleeping like babes. Uh, they were too tired to eat anything but the broth I fetched them, Captain. And I must find out where they came from. Let me know when the man's awake. Uh, uh, Captain Harkness, sir. Aye, what is it? Uh, about tomorrow, sir. It's Christmas. Uh, Greasy and me would like to make a little party for... A party? There'll be no partying aboard this boat. The Spanish cloud has a mission and a destination. Christmas is for landlubbers with nothing better to do. Oh, but, Captain, we only thought this. Never mind what you thought. Get you back to the galley now. Where's that argument coming from? Uh, the chart room. No, oh, Pablo and Spike out of the game. Turk, take over the wheel. All right, sir. I've taken all the guff I'm going to from those two swabs. Give it to me, Pablo, or I'll bash your head in. Give you what, Spike? What's Pablo got there? He's got a pouch. He took it from the native when we helped lift him aboard. You thought I didn't see it, did you? Well, I'll have that pouch now, Pablo. Are you going to give it to me, or do I take it from you? Here. Here it is. Uh, now, we'll have a look at what's inside. On the table, Caleb. Dump it out here on the table. We'll divide them and anything else we get from the sea when the voyage is over. You haven't had to dive yet, Pablo, huh? And already you've made a start towards being a rich man. I will be more than just a rich man when our journey is finished. I will be a king. I'll go back to Argentina and live in my valley like a king. <laughs> you have the right idea, bucko. I'll be doing the same. Only it's not to the Argentine I'll be going. It's to the biggest house on the highest hill in San Francisco. I'll become one of them swells you read about in the paper. A king of society. <laughs> and uh, you, Captain Harkness, what will you do when you are the possessor of great wealth, eh? Well, I'll not put myself in dry dock. I'll have me a ship ten times the size of the Spanish cloud. And if we sail the course we're set on, we'll all be kings. You, Pablo, you'll be king of the lowlands. And you, Spike, you'll be king of the mountains. And you'll be king of the sea, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We will all be kings. Unless, unless one of us should try to double-cross the others, and that one will die. You, Pablo, remember that. Captain Harkness, the native and his woman. Here they are. I figured you'd want to talk to them. All right, Greasy. Go back about your duties. Aye, aye, Captain. You are the captain? I'm Captain Caleb Harkness. Now, what do they call you? Uh, Tanaga. This is my wife, Mahini. Mahini? Huh. Missionary talk for Mary. To you, we owe our lives, Captain Harkness. We are grateful. All right, all right. Uh, bash me be nickels if you didn't come close to making a berth with Davy Jones. How'd you happen to ship so far from land in an outrigger canoe? We leave Baker Island two days ago. We sail for Christmas Island. We make it, if not for storm. Why didn't you take a steamer? No steamer to Ireland for three months. We both born Christmas Island. Now Mahini, soon to have baby. We want him born then, too. You take a big risk to sail in an outrigger canoe when your woman is so heavy with child. Tanaga do it only because I beg him. Captain Harkness, I come for my pearls. What pearls? What are you talking about? Pouch of pearls... Tied around my waist. We know nothing of pearls. You must have lost them in the ocean during the storm. Stow it now, the both of you. Tanaga, we found the pearls. Where did you get them? I dived for them. I learned to be best diver while I worked for pearl seekers. And you stole them pearls from the skippers you worked for. No, Tanaga speak truth. We work together, I in boat, he in water. I work hard for pearls. You give them back. 
Well, now, they're no longer yours, my boy. They're salvage. I salvaged a bit of wreckage from the sea, and anything aboard that wreck belongs to me by right of salvage. No, I worked too hard. I not let you steal from me. Uh, Come on, give me a hand. Grab him. Uh, Grab him, Spike. Uh, You're a fortunate lad tonight, me boy. That you are, bucko. If Pablo and I hadn't grabbed you, you'd be stretched out cold on the deck. Si, senor. It is gospel truth. A hit of blow from Captain Harkness, and you would be a most unhappy one. (laughs) The broken neck. Please, do not hurt him. I I beg you. I can't have him sneaking up on me in the night. For his own good, we'd better lock him in the storeroom. No, please, no. Do not no. keep me there. Oh, I see your boat no, at no, bottom no. of the ocean. No. Take him below. Lock him up. No seagoing son of a rum scotch is going to stop me from doing what I set out to do. I do not fear you, Captain. I will break out. Take him away. I will get even. I will stop you. Lock him up before I knock him down. They sing of Christmas out there in mess room while they keep us prisoners behind a locked door. Do not rage against that which you cannot change, Tanaga. You should not have insisted they lock you in here with me, Mahini. Where else should I be but with you, my husband? Cork up there. Cut off that jib of that caterwauling. Get about your duties. I'll come below, swinging a belaying pin. They fear the captain for the devil he is. The old man's blown up a squall, Greasy. We won't get the chance to eat them donuts. Later on, Turk. We best get going. Greasy, heist your carcass topside here. I want a word with you. Aye, aye, Captain. Do not be so troubled, Tanaga. I I smell smoke, Mahini. You you, you are right. As if from fire. We will be burned alive in here like rats. Surely they will smell smoke. <coughs> they will let us out. I will not take chance. I must break door from Hitcher. Go, Mahini, this way. Fire. Fire from, from Cook Stove, where he was frying donuts. You will be all right here. I will put out fire, bucket, and water. Ah, smoke from below. Spike, cut the engine. Break out the fire extinguishers. Give one to me, Pablo. What in thunder's going on down here? <coughs> uh, you scaly backed barracuda. Uh, you broke out, did you? And you set fire to the ship to get even, like you said you would. No, no, listen. As soon as I put out the blaze, I... Uh, uh, you won't need to, Pablo. This one's doing the job. Well, you have control it. Captain Harkness... I did not fire your ship. I did not... Tanaga, you're a lion wharf rat. Now, I intended to set you and Mahini adrift in your outrigger close to the shore of your Christmas island. I'm still going to set you adrift, but right here, in the middle of the Pacific, live or die. You came from the sea, and it's back to the sea you'll go. In just a moment, we'll return to Gene Lockhart and our Yuletide tale, Return to Christmas Island. Now, a special holiday message. And now, back to our Yuletime adventure, Return to Christmas Island, starring Gene Lockhart. You done right to set them adrift, Caleb. The man and his woman got what they asked for. See, they could have killed us all with that fire spike. Why do you pace back and forth like a young cat in a cage, Captain Harkness? Uh, I've been backing and feeling, thinking about whether to tell you or not. And um, what is it that you can't decide to tell us about? The pearls. What about the pearls, senor? I don't have them anymore. What? What did you say? Caleb, uh, well, he must have some explanation. Let's hear him out. The explanation is clear and simple. 
We cast Tanaga and Mahini back into the sea that brought them. And rightly so. Maybe that is it me. I dropped the pouch of pearls into the outrigger with the provisions I gave them. Since I didn't salvage them, I have no right of salvage to the pearls. He lies. He has the pearls. He means to keep them for himself. We'll heel over and follow the wind back after them, two in the canoe. If they got the pearls, we'll hook onto them again. And what if I refuse to order the ship around? Captain, the gun I've been carrying in my pocket for just such an emergency ought to convince you that I'm giving the orders. <laughs> Maybe and spy. I want to take the wheel myself. Go to it, Bucko. You know, this is Christmas Day. The day all men are supposed to be given another chance at living. Caleb, those pearls better be where you said, or you'll get your last chance at dying. <laughs> Captain Harkness, a Turk and I'd like a word with you. Yeah, I guess he. What is it you want? The fire below in the galley. Them two natives had no hand in setting it. Uh, no, Cap. You see, uh, well, I was frying some donuts for Christmas in a pan of deep fat, and when you bellered at us, I forgot about the pan on the stove. We're sure that's what caused the fire, sir. Yeah. Ah, then Tanaga was trying to put out the fire. Why didn't you tell me before? Well, oh. Greasy and me, we only figured it out just now. Ah, uh, Turk, me bully boy. Through your blundering, you've proven a favorite theory of mine. I don't rightly know what you mean, Captain Harkness. I've always maintained the heart is divided into four sections, and for more than a medical reason. In my mind, I've numbered them. One, avarice and greed. Uh -huh. Two, hatred and anger. And three, charity and compassion. And four, love and faith. Oh, you mean it when you, Spike, and Pablo took the pearls, it was number one section was topside, huh? Aye, avarice and greed. And then number two section, hatred and anger. And they caused me to set them adrift again. And now, it's the number three section working away. ha, ha, ha. Charity and compassion, Captain? I don't see how. Oh, you will, my bully Turk. You will. And when the outrigger canoe is found, you'll see how. Oh, you'll see how. <laughs> you are a fortunate man, Captain Harkness. If we had not found the outrigger and the two natives, you would not be alive. Eh, Pablo, you did a good job at the wheel. And now that Mahini and Tanaga are safely aboard, we can all forget our past differences. Uh, here's Spike now. He will tell us if there is a reason for laughter. Where's Spike? How is the girl? How is Mahini? You know the answer to that, Caleb. You made her comfortable in your cabin. Aye. Ah, uh, her time is near. The child may be born tonight. Your time is near, Caleb. You may die tonight. I may. No man knows his time. You did not find the pearl spike? I combed that outrigger from stem to stern. I found nothing but this driftwood. I questioned Tanaga like a Navy lawyer. All right, Caleb. What did you do with the pearls? They're here. They're here aboard ship. They've been here all the time. But you said that you were... Would you have agreed to go back after Tanaga and Mahini if I hadn't lied? You set them adrift in the first place. There. Uh, that was when the number two section had the upper hand. The number two section? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, it must have been bad blood in the lower left ventricle. What? Never mind. Someday I'll explain the whole thing to right you. Right now you'll explain about the pearls. I want them. Uh, nothing's changed, Spike. They're safe. Safe where they are. The gun spike. Use it. It's as useless as a brisk wind when the sails are folded. You see, I took the precaution of removing the bullets. You let us threaten you, and all the time you knew the gun was empty? Aye. <laughs> Santos, there, on the horizon, that light. Well, it's nothing to get excited about, Pablo. It's only a... It's... Nombre de Dios. It is a sign... We are all fortunate that we turned back after the woman and the unborn one. The light of the star there on the horizon is in the shape of a cross. 
is the star of Bethlehem. Ah, uh, you and your superstitions. Rig in your booms, Pablo. You're on the wrong tack again. Listen. Open the door. The babe. The new child is born. Congratulations to you, Tanaga. Uh, same for me, and uh, best wishes. Thank you both. And for your good music, Grissy. Oh, well, now, uh, congratulations to you, Tanaga, my boy. Is your new child a son or a daughter? Oh, Mahini give birth to boy. A boy, is it, Bucko? Good, good for you. <laughs> a Turk, relieve Pablo at the wheel. Maintain the same course. Now, according to my calculations, we should be near in Christmas Island. Aye, aye, Captain. You are right, Captain Harkness. There on horizon is Christmas Island. You mean that light's coming from the island? Yes, yes. Turk tells me you have a niño, a son, Tanyanya. Oh, my congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you all. Yeah, Pablo, the light on the horizon, Tanaga says it comes from Christmas Island. Yes, it is custom of my people. For the whole of Christmas week, we keep huge fires burning day and night in celebration of him who was born on Christmas Day. What this sign? Is the, the sign of the cross. Aye, Pablo. And in your mind's eye, that's the way you want to see it. Mahini and I, we be very proud for you to come see our son. Uh, yeah, that's I great. Like that's that's wonderful. That's oh, not right. so much of a tin mates. The little one is too young for such a noisy launching, huh? <laughs> I will look into Captain's cabin, see if Mahini is ready to receive us. Listen to that. Uh, ain't it wonderful? Tanaka. Come in, husband. Bring others. <laughs> ah, my little one. You welcome your father, huh? Look at that. I want to thank all of you. Thank you, Captain Harkness. Caleb, for... where is he? Come to think of it, he did not come into the cabin with us. Hey, the pearls. Why, if he took those... Here he is, Spike. What is that he is carrying? Hmm. I can't make it out yet. Uh, make way there now. <laughs> oh, my warmest congratulations to you, Mahini. I'm sorry we didn't have more time to prepare our gift. It's, it's a sort of a Christmas tree. Aye. I made it from the piece of driftwood you found in the outrigger. The decorations on the tree, where they are... They are the pearls. Aye, they're the pearls, all right. Pablo... You wanted to be king of the lowlands? See, si, but I would... And you, Spike, king of the mountains? That's right. And you wanted to be... King of the sea. Well, you know, these are not very lofty ambitions for three such wise men as we. Have you gone daft, Caleb? We've spent our lives searching for pearls. Sure we have. We're irritated men seeking the fruit of irritated oysters. But, mates, we've a decision to make. What decision? If we sail the course we first set out on... We'll not be kings, we'll be slaves. Slaves to our own greeds and our lusts, our hatreds. And if we navigate the new course you're charting... Ah, then we'll stop putting value on things and put it instead on people. Spike, you hear that? What's the price of a new life? Pablo, how much value do you put on it? Now, if we act like three wise men, we will be kings... Only we three kings will have come from the west instead of the east. There, there, little one. There, there. Too bad the little one could not have been born yesterday. Ah, it's too bad, Pablo. Our present to him would have been more fitting had he been born on Christmas Day. The baby is born on Christmas Day, and he'll return to Christmas Island on this very day. You're wrong, Caleb. Today's the 26th of December. Oh, you're forgetting, Spike. We passed the international date line last night, and this now is the 25th of December. Here, Greasy, set the tree here alongside the little babe and her mother, Mahini. Mary. Aye, aye, Captain. Yes, sir. Oh, Greasy, I guess it's the last ventricle working now. Yeah, I know what you mean, Captain. <laughs> Fourth section of the heart, huh? Love and faith. What? 
What's he blubbering about? Ah, uh, you've no need for an explanation on how it works. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're seeing it in action. <laughs> hey, with this return to Christmas Island, and I guess we've all been given a second chance. We are forever in your debt, Captain. Thank you, Captain. <laughs> Merry Christmas, little one. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. In a moment, our star, Gene Lockhart, will return. This is Gene Lockhart. It makes me happy to be with you this Yuletide season. And may I thank the cast of Return to Christmas Island for a splendid performance. And may I thank you for allowing us to share your holiday. All of us extend to all of you our warmest good wishes that you enjoy the best of everything during this and every other season of the new year. Return to Christmas Island was written, produced, and directed by Peter Curtis and is a copyright feature of World Broadcasting System Incorporated. Holidays start here at Baker's with a variety of options to celebrate traditions old and new. You could do a classic herb roasted turkey or spice it up and make turkey tacos. Serve up a go-to shrimp cocktail or use Simple Truth wild-caught shrimp for your first Cajun risotto. Make creamy mac and cheese or a spinach artichoke fondue from our selection of Murray's cheese. No matter how you shop, Baker's has all the freshest ingredients to embrace all your holiday traditions. Baker's, fresh for everyone. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.